Hey glow getters, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Sasha. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching my videos. If you want to stick around for this video, then go ahead and stick around. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. All right, welcome back, guys. So for this video, I'll be quickly sharing with you guys some job sites that you can go to to apply for jobs online. And yes, guys, these are job sites that have proven to work. I'm not gonna tell you no if it no if it no legit. All right, yes, guys. So I know that COVID, yeah, COVID come out with itself and go with a bag of excitement. A lot of us have lost jobs. A lot of us maybe our salaries have been cut back you know so many things have been happening it's just what it is you just have to work around it and so this is my little way of helping you maybe these are job sites that you already know about maybe you don't or maybe you know somebody who might not know about them so you can also go ahead and watch this video just for the sake of helping somebody else all right so the first job site that I want to tell you guys about is glassdoor.com no I've never used this site before to be honest with you guys but it was recommended to me by a friend about a year or so ago and as i was compiling my list i happened to open the chat and see the job site yeah so um it is a legit job site have been told persons who've gotten jobs from it what i realized though is that you'd have to go ahead and create an account with glassdoor.com and yeah in creating the account i realized that it helps to filter the jobs too based on where in jamaica you are so clarendon kingston want to go be wherever so yeah so you can go ahead download that well yeah i think they do have an app but based on what i've seen it was just online so glassdoor.com right what i will do is share the links to each of these websites in the description box so you can just easily go ahead and click um the websites just to have easy access if you don't have if you don't already have them in your browser all right so the next the second one is caribbeanjobs.com no a lot of us know caribbean jobs a lot of us probably have been sending out resumes to caribbean jobs for a lot for many years i never ever got a call but the reason why i decided to put caribbean jobs is because i know people who've applied for jobs and caribbean jobs and have gotten those jobs so it proves to work it is very legit the jobs also are very legit with caribbean jobs if you don't know you'd have to go ahead and create um you have to go ahead and create an account also but what i love about caribbean jobs is that when you when you're creating your account you are you have an option where you can um choose to have caribbean jobs email you jobs in your career path so you realize caribbean jobs will email you probably five times for the day with five different jobs in your career path when you apply for these jobs i've been told by by someone is that when you apply for the jobs they go directly to the company so you know you have some work agencies like there's a particular work agency that i know of when you apply to the jobs you are sending the resumes to the company and then choose which resume they want to send to the jobs now me not really like that but with caribbean jobs when you apply for the jobs they go directly to the company so it is very legit um it has proven to work so you can go ahead and use that and they have jobs literally in all career field in whichever career field you're in caribbean jobs have those jobs now and another let me tell you guys a hack that i've seen that i've used before too caribbean jobs sometimes will post the jobs uh what but what you can do sometimes if you don't want to apply through caribbean jobs the if it's a cop it's a, if it's a really big company what some of the companies will do is that they will have websites their own websites and you can go to the website to their career section and you also see the same jobs there and you can apply from there and that leads me to go to number three so number three guys what you can do a lot of the large organizations here in jamaica or maybe in your country if you're not from jamaica they will post the job openings on their website so i know um i know organization or companies such as digicel um i know also call centers such as sutherland um i know other companies let me think flow 
Uh, and a lot of other companies that I can't think of right now, whenever they have job openings, they will post the jobs on their website. So you can keep abreast with these um, job sites and you'll be able to see when they open up with new new um, applications. And a lot of times the companies too will email you. So I think there are options, I think on Digicel website for you to turn on a notification so that they can email you whenever there's an opening. All right. I don't know I'm kind of out of breath I don't know why but let me slow down <laughs> all right guys so the next job set that I want you guys to check out is career Jamaica career Jamaica I've never used it before for either but I've heard it to work before it also works as similar to Caribbean jobs I will go also go ahead and put the link to that website below as you search these websites you will realize that a lot of the jobs they repeat themselves that's because a lot of the companies what I've come to understand is that while they will post the jobs to Caribbean jobs will post it to other websites and I think that's for diversity because people sometimes probably have a preferred preferred choice um, of website that they want to use so a lot of the websites you'll see as I said have the similar have the same jobs another um another website that you can check out is ejam jobs that's capital e j a m jobs ejam jobs um they post jobs for people who are for domestic helpers um and more than like domestic helpers you will be domestic helpers for large organizations companies etc so if you know somebody who wants to pursue a career path in this field um you know domestic helping you can go ahead share the jobs with them maybe somebody in a community somebody who probably will not watch this video you can still go ahead share it with them and realize that they have a lot of job openings another website that you can check out is LMIS LMIS stands for labor market information system I'm gonna just drink a little water guys because yeah so LMIS, that's Labor Market Information System, it's a government-based um, platform. They post a lot of jobs. So you, whatever jobs, you name it. Bartending, shopkeeping, every kind of job that you can think about, um, LMIS has those jobs. So that's another great website. As I say, all these websites, guys, the jobs are, the jobs are le legit, very legit. One thing that I will share with you guys, though, is that in applying for jobs you know in my past what i normally do and still do if i'm applying for a job is that if the company is um if the company is announcing a job and they don't have the company name up i will not apply but sometimes i will see an advertisement and it says something like um large company in kingston seeking a 24 year old um professional woman um black um who, who is excellent at oral and written communication um customer service and stuff like that i will not apply because i don't see the company's name i mean i send my resume go out to any and anybody yeah so guys please stick around because to the end i will also share like a few tips in you know putting out your resume out there all right so not straight the next site i think this is what five I don't I, yeah I lost track of counting but the next website that you can go to is I need a job Jamaica no I found I need a job Jamaica to be very helpful I've gotten three I've gotten three interviews from I need a job Jamaica I have so it is very very legit I need a job Jamaica course jobs every job that you can think about farming bartending domestic helping if they want doctor everybody every kind of job is on i need a job jamaica it is also very legit i see something that they've been doing is posting jobs that um that are not legit they will notify you to let you know okay this is not real don't send out the applications so it's very legit and what makes it even easier is that they have a they have an instagram page at i need a job jamaica i will also put the link below you can go to turn on your post notice notifications so every time they post a job you'll be able to be you'll be be notified 
right makes everybody job easier right and you can as i say guys you're listening maybe this video is not for you but share could share it with somebody who you know might need it all right yeah so the next job site that i want you guys on well not even job site but you guys can go ahead and buy the sunday gleaner the sunday gleaner also posts a lot of jobs so especially like university graduates you, um i see where um I see where the Sunday Gleaner posts a lot of jobs, accountants, um, brand managers, um, communications, a lot of those jobs are in the Sunday Gleaner, engineer, a lot of jobs are in the Sunday Gleaner in those career paths, so go ahead, buy your Sunday Gleaner. What you can also do guys is create also a Twitter account. I see a lot of times where when jobs are being posted i see them on twitter and you have the career master or the resume writer himself entrepreneur christopher nunez i see where he also go ahead and he posts a lot of jobs as they become available so yeah twitter is for laughs but it can also really help you in your career path yeah that's like a side one that i would i didn't have that on my list and next um thing that you can do to guys is the gleaner classifieds i think with the gleaner classifieds you have to create an account and it has some form of subscription but i've seen where seen where that have been helpful to a lot of people and next site that you can check out i never had it down but is osc so that's office of the services commission that's osc um i think it's osc.com just type it in uh, well i'll put the link below you can check them out they have a lot of government um agency government jobs um what i believe for the government jobs and this is my perspective is that some of these jobs when they post them they've already been filled but there is a protocol where when the job is available they have to post them and i think that's why sometimes they are posted but people don't really get them because somebody already filled them when they're posted but that's just my yeah that's just my um my perspective but go ahead and apply guys you can never know these are legit job sites go ahead send out your applications as me say and I'll apply to you but you might know somebody who really needs a job so go ahead and share this video with them and just to share like some some extra tips when you're sending out your resume guys ensure that you have somebody proofread them ensure that the templates that you guys are using are up to date them look good and are just not way just type up in a word make sure say it's well put together because you, you know first impression last um also guys um resume site that have helped me in is resume.io that's a resume site with resume.io guys is that you what you do i do apologize about the background and the noise <laughs> background and the noise the noise in the background <laughs> forgive me no um resume.io it's like two dollars a month so if you don't want to pay anybody to do a resume for you you can go ahead resume.io it literally creates resumes for you all you're doing is putting in the information and it formulates the resumes they have amazing templates and yeah very helpful as i say it's just like two dollar ninety something a month that's like what probably 400 500 but probably something there something around that areas you know um it's like two dollar yeah something around that area yeah if you go ahead if you want to pay that and you can go ahead and fix up your resumes do your thing i'm sure you have other templates that you can use but just ensure that the resumes look good when you're you're sending them out um ensure also that you tailor your resumes to the jobs that you're sending them, them out to so ensure that your objectives and stuff like that and you know you're, you're doing your best in your resumes um another tip too when you're sending out your resume send them out in pdf formats so in the past we send them out in word but sending out your resumes in pdf format people can manipulate your resume then can change not upon it so yeah and best believe that you have people will do stuff like that i've heard of people who do stuff like that just because they don't want somebody to get a job silly but yeah it does happen so send out your resumes in pdf so people can manipulate them people can change them all right yeah so guys i hope you were able i hope this video was helpful i hope you if you're searching for a job that you get a job soon if you know somebody that's searching for a job share this video with them each one help one yeah we're here to help each other trying times you know yeah man and we have to support each other the best way that we can so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video where i will be sharing do i need to go to university all right so stick around for that video bye and take care of yourselves